talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah! Risky behavior. But anyway, man, let's jump in this clip. I, I want to say what I want to say, but I don't want to, like, ruin what they say. I've only watched a little bit. I didn't watch the whole thing because I started watching it, and I was just like, ah. you know, at the time, I just wasn't in the mental space to watch the whole video. So without any further ado, let's go ahead. So you just told her, like, you wouldn't, if she was to say, like, Drop everybody, drop all your hoes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yo, FTG, thank you for the gifted 50. We'll get the fit check in a sec. Go she ahead. just said, like, if she was to say, drop everybody for me, you just said you wouldn't do it, but you're saying, like, but you also say you like being in a relationship. So I'm kind of, I just need a little bit of clarity. Like, I'm trying to figure out. It's when I'm ready. So if she asked me to and I'm not ready, I'm not going to. Once I'm ready, if she wants to come along with that, then that's when it, it'll be on my terms. Okay, so f first off, right off the bat, if you are a woman and you are asking a man to drop the other women for you, you are in trouble. A man that is interested in you and wants to be with you does not need to be asked to do that he will do it on his own. Please, women, listen, hear me clearly. You are wasting your time. If you're dealing with a man and you think that's not even that's not a relationship. That's not anything. You wasting your time. Move on. Leave him skedaddle. Peace out leave you wasting your time you giving him your body you giving him your time you giving him your mental space you got him up in your house drinking your juice out the fridge why are you wasting your time if let me tell you something when a man want to be married and a man see the woman that he want to marry he know like that he don't need to think about it he know oh that's wifey right there trust me he know. You can ask pretty much majority of men that are married will tell you that when they met their wife, they knew they was going to marry her. So at no point in time should a woman ever ask a man, like, are you going to drop your other women? What? That's crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. That's crazy. You don't have to ask that. He'll do it on his own. If he don't do it. Boom. Set yourself a time. Now, understandably, because of the way dating works now, everybody kind of is dating. Everybody is weird. Many people have overlapping relationships. So you can, if you want, it's up to you for men and women to allow a grace period, knowing that when you meet somebody, they didn't know they was going to meet you. So naturally, they probably have other people that they were dating and then they just so happened to meet you. Y'all exchange numbers and you went on a date. So you may extend a grace period where you say, hey, I give this person up until this time to make up their mind if they want to be in and be exclusive with me. But after that grace period, you should be leaving but the last thing you should be doing is asking a man to drop other women for you. He would do it. He wouldn't want to even be with them. He would just want to be with you. And he would do that. Even if y'all not necessarily in a relationship, it's something that happened naturally, right? Because if the weekend comes and you're like, okay, you know what? Just anything. Like I, I want to go to the, um, um, I want to go to the food and wine festival. Who do I want to go with? The first person that pops up in your head is the one that you like, the one you want to spend your time with. So that's who you're going to naturally take. Right. If he doesn't just do that on his own, then chances are you're just wasting your time. Leave. Don't even argue about it. Just leave. Just change the damn number. Block him. Don't even give an excuse. Run. It'll be on my terms. It's it's that simple. Okay. 
And there's nothing you can do about it. Some people are just down for a dick. Yeah. <laughs> down for a dick. <laughs> that's, that's the difference. So, so when she, the when she, when she asked, what do you want to do tonight? Well, you know, I'm down for a dick. <laughs> me that she said if she wants it and it's like she doesn't determine that I'll, I'll gatekeep my commitment okay so the gatekeeping of commitment let me just say this as somebody who is uh dating for marriage and has been since probably i was 18 i mean my entire life i feel like i encounter that more often and my friends and i are women who are looking to get married and it's guys that give bs answers like that it's not the women who are out here like i feel like the chat makes it seem like they're all women are like hoes and nobody wants to settle down or get married or live a traditional life right i encounter like way more men like to. that with that mindset than the opposite wait you encounter way more men Hose? Met, oh. basically like what men who are like I, I like I, you know I'll be ready when I'm ready even though I'm 30 years old like I'm What's not going to get married there are Hold on just a donated $100 no. lots of cognitive dissonance coming from this guy do you have a response to Mr. Meatball lots of cognitive dissonance oh yeah I, I mean I would I wouldn't completely deny that it's cognitive dissonance because as I pointed out I'm naturally a relationship guy so this is kind of the route that I'm taking to ensure that I'm comfortable with myself Alex but as I said, I'm not going to stop dating women just because, you know, I'm... You did find, like, one in a thousand of girls, you know, though. Like, you found a really great woman, and are you willing to risk that? No, I'm holding on to her. Yeah, but, but like, she's but like what if she was, like, she's but like, what if she was, like, oh, like, you have... To, I want to get married, I want to be with you, and I only want to be with you, I've been loyal to you, but... I don't want you to see other people. I don't want you to see other women. Right. Well, like I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you an example. You. I'll give you an example. We had a conversation recently. One down, nine to go. Every time. Every hey, time. what are you doing out here? I right? And I asked her if she felt that she deserved commitment. Because essentially when we first started dating, it was just us two. I was monogamous. I was exclusive. And she was sabotaging. She wasn't sure. She was insecure. She wasn't sure if this uh, what she wanted. So I told her, I said, well, if you're going to sabotage, then I'm going to date other people. See, I didn't disclose that to y'all. It started off rocky. So I said, I'm going to date other people because you don't know if you actually want this. So when I communicated that to her and I went on about my business, she popped back up like, no, I do want this. I'm going to try. And I said, nah, I'm, I'm, I want to date other people. If you want to stick around and wait to see, you know, that was, that's, that's what happened. So I didn't start off that way. How long have you guys, like, been talking uh, it's been two. almost three years okay yeah it's been almost three years that's why Way i said she's, how old is she she's been here she's 26 to get out she's she's been <laughs> here she, she's not going why? anywhere because he's 30 and he he's still like i don't know what i want and i'm not ready to settle down and she's getting close to that age where she's she's got to figure that out she, i know she's wasting I, time with you she could find a guy that wants to get married yeah but see other guys ain't ain't as dope as me so <laughs> difficult that's what you, that, see, you forget like, that yeah you, you like, see y'all forget that we're aware when girls don't want to date other guys we're aware when we're we're at him the cream of the crop for them so if she's willing to wait it's because she feels that she can't find better and maybe she can but I'm willing to bet she can't. Thank you, I don't FTG. Think, I don't think it's always that she can't find better. I think most of the time, us as women, we look at your potential. So most of the time we're staying around because we see potential that you're going to get with us. You're going to get it over yourselves, see what you really have, and then come back to us. So I think that's what it is more than we can't find anybody better because like if we was to go out on the street right now we can find somebody like that's not you can find a whole bunch that's of guys. what i'm saying like we can find somebody so it's not and like saying we time. can't find better it's just saying like we want you we want that potential you see like he goes um yeah and waste your time she wasting her time with you right now <laughs> Are you serious? And waste your time. Dude, you don't even know if you want to be with her. <laughs> and you're wasting time. And then he gives the whole backstory, right? Let me tell you something. What he said was not no real stuff. I These guys get on the internet and just say whatever they want to say and act like they said something real. No, they didn't. He didn't. Oh, it was rocky. And so... I was monogamous and 
She didn't know. So now I'm dating other people. That That's some feminine crap. So basically what you're doing is you're punishing her, right? And you're playing games. That ain't what a man do. That's what I'm saying. Like, if a man acting like that, just leave. You, look, you three years in, right? It's understandable at the beginning of the relationship, right? It may be a little rocky, even if it was him or if it was her, right? But you holding on to that and it's been three years? And here's my thing. If it was like that, just leave her. But don't don't change who you are. You said you're a relationship guy. You're monogamous. So you're letting the enemy win when you're doing that and you're having a childish response of, well, I'm going to date other people. And if you want to no, just end it and move on. Because if she was the one, you wouldn't need to do all that. You're engaged. To me, it just sounds like revenge and you playing games. That ain't what adults do. When you're out here and you're dating, trying to find somebody, and the goal is really marriage, you be on your game. He's not He's not ready for marriage. He's not. When you're really ready for marriage and you think you found the one, you don't play them games. If you're really ready for marriage and this person is playing with you in a in the in the in a relationship, it's a rocky relationship, they playing these games, you know what you do? I'm a grown man. I ain't got time to play games, sweetheart. I want to get married. I want a queen. I want children. I'm ready to go on with my life. You're not sure about what you're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this relationship. Now, if a year or so down the line, we bump into each other, then it's fine. But to run game on somebody and just string them along, he's trying to act as if he's, dating other women and he's painting a picture of this woman like she's a little dog wagging her tail nipping at his heels trying to hang on to him and stuff like that um but his backstory didn't clear up anything it still sounds silly that's what i'm saying it, it didn't even like what i said before he even said that i said i don't think it's really a real relationship and my thing is just cut it off and and go on um with your life all this i safeguard my commitment like man like people make things so difficult you either want to get married or you don't it ain't rocket science you either compatible with this person y'all want the same things you make a plan and y'all both just stick to the plan that's all y'all have to do have a conversation stick to the damn plan and that's it. All this, oh, I want to date this. I want, I want to do that. Like, no. But you're not giving us that potential. So we're trying to hold on as long as we can until you give us that potential. No, the potential is the reason that you stay. Yeah. And if you see progress, if you see. So if, you're, if your boyfriend says, look, babe, I want to do this. I want to accomplish this. I want to accomplish this. And you see him accomplishing breadcrumbs. You see him getting breadcrumbs to where he's trying to get. That's going to make you even feel better that's gonna make you feel more better right because you're working toward exactly it. you see it you like but oh my god not, he's doing it what you're saying is she she wants you you're telling her nah it's okay i'm gonna go find my other options if you want to stay you can stay so she's staying in the hopes that you're going to come back to her she that's her choice which is like messed up but, but that's it, her choice though q q isn't it the case that a lot of women would rather be with like a really quality guy and share him Absolutely. than be in a relationship Absolutely. with a guy that they don't respect Absolutely. and that's weak or whatever. Absolutely. I don't think anyone what I, wants to share, the, share their man though. A lot in of reality. like if the guy is high status enough, I think a lot of women would be prepared to share him. Absolutely. Really? I mean, mm -hmm. I yeah. think what so. is not women who are loyal and yeah, commu committed to just you woman. though. It doesn't have to be financial. It doesn't it can be it can it can be a myriad of things. It doesn't have to be financial. It could be Financial, it can be the way he looks, the way he makes her feel, the way she feels about him. It's it's a different it's different elements that go into it. It's not a one size fits all type ordeal. It's multiple things. And, and it if sounds you, like and if you observe a lot of men, if you observe a lot of men who are high status or high quality, 
they date multiple women, and as long as they're open and honest, some of those women are willing to accept that. Okay, can I just ask something? If you, you know that she knows all of this about you and she's still willing to be with you, wouldn't that make you question her intelligence and then, therefore, wouldn't that make her less attractive to you? Not necessarily, because what you're missing is, y'all are talking about my main, and the reason that I acknowledge she's my main. So I'm well aware of the loyalty and commitment that she's shown, which is why I'm saying when I'm ready to settle down, she's at the forefront of my mind. And that's the trick. Everything that he just said. He's trying to paint the picture of he laid down the law and said, I'm successful and I'm going to just have all the women I want. When really it was, he was saying, I want to be with you. I want to be with you. Right. She heard him. And so now he's doing his thing and she's kind of been, I don't know the secrets of their bedroom, but to me, it sounds kind of like she's in like a, um, she's in a situation where she knows she may have been a little bit unbearable in the beginning of the relationship. And so what she's doing, she's taking her lick, right. And trying to prove to him that no, I am truly ready. So if I stick around and prove to him that I'm ready, like, when he was ready, he would choose me. So he's he's like got that string out, right? And he he fishing her, right? And she like, you see what I'm saying? That's why he's saying, well, you know, when I'm ready to settle down, you will be the one. But guys, they always say that. That's the thing they say. That's what they say. It ain't like no, you got dudes that really got money, that's straight up like Diddy that do whatever he want with this guy's doing. He's trying to paint it in that picture. Like he's, um, player player, but it's, it's not quite like that, that, that girl's been with him and she probably most likely is trying to um, make up for her mistakes. And so that's why she's, um, dealing with it. But, um, <clears throat> I'm a guy. I know how guys are and I know how guys talk. And it's funny when they have these conversations, these guys never admit to the lies that they tell and the things they do. It's just always they're just the most honest people in the world on these shows. It's funny. As a guy, I never hear the conversations that we have when women are not around. I only hear these versions of the stories. I never hear any of the real stories when I'm looking at these shows. It's just, well, I'm successful and these women want to be me. So they just, they just hang around. Yeah. If she want, let me tell you women something. That guy don't respect her. No man that really desires relationships and marriage is respecting you for sticking around like that yeah i'm gonna go out here i'm gonna date you know i'm gonna sleep with other women i'm gonna do whatever i want you know um if i think about settling down you be the one i give you a call you know if you want to stick around you stick around man if you don't that's on you that's manipulation because if you really want to date other people, you be a man, you be firm. Look, me and you not together no more. Oh, I want to be there for you. I'm not going to let you stick around. I'm going to go live my life and do what I do because you were not ready. And boom, what he's doing is something totally different. He's keeping her in the pocket. Trust and believe. He's keeping her in the pocket. It ain't no. He trying to make it seem some other type of way. Like he got some magic or something. When really what he's using is manipulation. But it's a matter of me being willing to settle down. I want to make sure I can take care of her. Yeah. I want to make sure I can provide for her. I want to make sure I can provide for our family. And you don't so, want to cheat on her when you're married. To yeah, her, and, I'm, so and, and, like, and, yeah. and that won't happen. Like, I've never cheated. I've never cheated. I've never committed infidelity. So when, Yeah, but how are you going to reach that elite status of being able to provide for her and take care of her if you're spending all your money on all these side chicks? Who said I was spending all my money? 
I just said I, it. You don't have to I'm spend assuming. money on side I, chicks. I literally, you don't I literally spend money said, on side chicks. I literally just said I only just invest saying. resources in one girl. Okay. Yeah, so she's the only right. girl. So that's what I said. When you asked about loyalty, I said there's sexual loyalty. And then with men, how we show loyalty, that's who we invest our time, energy, effort, resources, and finances into. So she gets way more than that. You don't see me out on dates with side chicks. I'll take her out anywhere. I'll go on vacation with her anywhere. And it sounds like you would prefer her not to sleep with other people, or that might even be a deal breaker for you. Is that uh, right? Absolutely, because she can't do it. I know if she sleeps with another guy, I've lost her. So I actually don't disagree with you as far as the consent part of it, which is that if she consents to you being with other people and consents to her being monogamous to you, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If it's a mutually consensual relationship between two people, you don't always have to have the same rules for each other, and that can go either way for, for anything, right? Mm -hmm. um, the only concern I would have, I guess, is is she staying with you out of insecurity? And if she doesn't have all her things together, because it sounds like at the beginning when you left, she was like, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm getting the details wrong, but it sounds like you left and then she's like, no, 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 I want you back and I'm willing to put up with you being with other people because I like you so much. So that gives me the vibe of someone who's a little bit insecure and maybe a little bit unsure of other partners that she can find. Um, it's definitely um, insecurity. It's, um, I'm going to put up with what you're doing it's almost as if she's when a person does something like that, what they're doing is punishing themselves. She's insecure and in her mind, she actually feels like she deserves to be punished. And. He's winning because of it. I, I'm not mad at him. Right. I'm the best thing that happened to you. You ain't never going to find nobody like me. These are the things he was saying. You ain't going to find nobody as good as me. I'm going to walk out and leave. No, nope, don't. Why you? Girl, because look, you made me leave. You going to leave. You going to make me leave. You ain't going to find nobody as good as me. I want you back. Oh, you want me back? Yeah, I want you back. I promise you. I'll, I'll do better. You're going to have to prove that to me. Right. So until you prove to me that I should give you my commitment, I'm going to see other women. That's what he's doing and it's working. Right. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He says it with a straight face because it just makes it more believable. I say it with a straight face and you think I'm saying some real shit. But it's really, it's just, that girl is punishing herself. <laughs> and then he sit there and then look. <laughs> this is why detectives have multiple interviews, right? Because they want you to change your story. He's changed his story in one interview. He says he's going to date other women, right? But didn't he just say he don't take them on dates? That's why the women said to him, they said, well, but you're spending money and resources on. Um, and I hate people keep saying, oh, money and resources. These folks ain't got no damn resources. Diddy got resources. Millionaires got resources. Like, um. Like, which I don't know if you mean or not, but I'm just saying, like, people always throw that word out. People. <sighs> That's why they asked him that. And then he says, well, now it's I, I'm dating other women. Then we say, well, you spending money on the date. Then, it's, oh, well, I don't you don't see me out on no dates with him. So what are you doing? The only thing you'd be doing is you fucking off. Um, you, I you're saying, saying I she's insecure. Yeah, I, re saying. I reinforce. I reinforce her ability to get other men, though. Thank you, FTG. I, I reinforce her. I positively affirm her ability to get other men. So, so, so just, I, so just finish my thought. Sorry. So, oh, to, sorry. to finish my thought. So, I guess what I would be concerned about is if she is coming from a place where she doesn't feel that she is whole and does not need your help to reaffirm her. Can, we sh can she truly consent in that in that case? 
So, you know, that would be something to consider. You said, does she feel, does she, can you repeat that? Yeah, so in the situation where she is feeling like she needs other resources for validation, such as mm -hmm. herself or other things, mm -hmm. in that case, can she truly consent to you being with other partners? Because is she fully aware of all the repercussions that that will have on her? I am full. I am not aware of how she feels with that in that regard. But you what haven't I, talked about it. I mean, we 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 open and honest. But a lot of the things that I say, look, I say. At the end of the day, it's your decision. If you want to be with another guy, and I've communicated this to her, if I say you'll make a great wife, whether it's for me or another guy, if you don't want to wait on me, you don't have to wait on me. All of these things have been communicated. So I hear I what you're saying because you're, you're talking a lot about consent, but however, there's consent and then there's informed consent. Mm -hmm. Wait, so what, what do you, I, I don't know where the consent comes That's what in. I'm trying to figure I'm, out. What, what does that have to do? I try to avoid he, conversations about consent. <laughs> right? well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, that woman grown. If she falls, and I, I'm not hating on them. I I don't really. It's whatever for me. I, I it's not my situation. What this lady is trying to say is, um, for instance, um, this has come up before. Like one time, they had this um young lady. Um, she was dating a old man. She ended up um. I think she ended up marrying him or something. But anyways. Um, she went to, um, get the money when he, um, passed away and the family argued that the state of mind he was in, even though he signed the contract or signed a will or whatever, they were saying, well, he wasn't in the right mind frame and she was able to. Um, manipulate him he wasn't in the right um, mind frame and so that's what she's saying she's saying that he's saying she cool with everything I do but what she is proposing to him and I'm not saying I agree with her or not I think this woman is grown if she chooses to stick around and wait for this guy then fine I'm only giving my opinion I'm not no expert or nothing I'm just saying that if you are a person that desires marriage, do not allow a person to waste your time. If they feel like they need to go out here and do this other stuff, then let them go do it. And you move on. I'm not calling him a bad person. I'm not calling her a bad person. I don't think he's a bad person. I think that even him, the way he's operating now, I think he's just operating that way out of hurt. I feel like he felt like she wasted his time. And so he's getting a little bit of get back, whether he's just doing it subconsciously of, look, she wasted my time. And so now whatever, you got to wait on me. But what that lady is saying is that this girl, if she is in an insecure um, mind frame, then is she truly agreeing she's using that word consent can she truly agree to deal with you going out and sleeping with these other women while she just waits idly by is she making that decision based off insecurity or is she really secure and mature enough to handle that this guy's um sleeping with other women and just waiting around till he's ready some women can do that and it has nothing to do with insecurity but some women do that and they are insecure. And um, honestly, for him, that wouldn't be a good thing because you don't want to finally be ready. You marry this woman. She comes out of that insecurity. Right now, what happens next? Resentment. So if you are going to have a situation like that, you want to make sure that that person is not in a dealing with maybe they're at a low point in life. Right. They you know, this person might have lost their job. You're the only person that they got right now. They don't really have family and they're just feeling really vulnerable and insecure at the time. Right. Well, when they snap up out of that they may look back on how you treated them and feel like, wow, this person took advantage of me. It happens all the time. So for him, he may, he want to, he may want to look more into that and be a little bit more aware. Like, 
is she really able to handle this or is she just saying that right now because she has no other options? You want to make sure that she's consciously and like and mature enough and actually secure with this decision because you don't want that to come back and bite you in the, you know, off. And so that's what the woman is asking. And what mind frame are is she accepting these terms? Because if it's not in the right mind frame, that may that might not be a good thing for later on. She may end up resenting you and feeling like, hey, this person took advantage of me. I was at a low point and like you really played me and manipulated me. Think about it. I'm sure somebody watching this has heard that argument before. The one person saying, yeah, you played me, you manipulated me. And then what does the other person say? Man, ain't like I lied to you. You knew what you was getting into when you was fucking with me. You see what I'm saying? And then the other person's like, no, I was at a low point and I didn't really have any options. And you took advantage of that. And instead of you saying, well, hey, man, this person at a low point, let me chill out. So. Massively like, overrated. Yeah. I've been getting paid over $10,000 oh, per month God. in passive income from he YouTube just for this that. one. <laughs> okay. Um, I think she's joke. just trying to say maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah. your maybe your main chick was only saying that just because she's scared to lose you. Wait, but okay. He, like agreeing he, to you the. You let her know, Agreeing right? to the so terms, So I don't see yes. how consent comes in. He was up front with her. He's not like cheat. He's not going behind yeah, her back yeah, yeah. and cheating. I understand well, consent that. meaning like she knows what's going on. She's willingly doing it. Because you told her though, right? You, yeah. you told yeah, her like what's she up. She knows what's going on. Yeah. Do so, you? Sorry. Go I'm ahead. just. So what's the what's the consent? So one one thing that kind of. <laughs> I swear, man. Sometimes, man, <laughs> they so clueless. <laughs> But I think it just boils down to um, experience. Maybe they've never experienced nothing like that um, before. I have. And that's why I'm saying you got to be careful with that because a person may agree to go along with something in an insecure moment. And then I've had a situation like that and the person, she, she went along with it. And you best to believe when she snapped out of that and she got her confidence back, she was at me. And I was like, wait, a, I was like, wait a minute. Um, damn, I hit my mic. I was like, wait a minute. I was honest with you. And she was like, yeah, but, you know, I only agreed to that because of what I was going through. And so you took advantage of me and she resented me after that. And after that, she never spoke to me again. Never uttered a word to me again. And being getting older and more mature, I realized, like, yeah, I was wrong. If you really um, don't want to be with somebody, just let them know. Because here's the thing. If you are the mature person and the person that is secure, the person that's mature, it is your responsibility to say, look. Because what you're doing is you take, look. What you're doing is you're taking advantage of a person, right? If you know somebody is at a low point in their life and they'll pretty much deal with whatever you dish out, at some point you got to say, look, this person is only putting up with me because they have no other choice. Now, I could take advantage of that and do whatever I want. Or, like he said, I affirm her. What I would say is this. If you were really affirming her, what you would say, I'm, and I'm just saying this, this is just adult stuff because adults don't play games. Listen, you're a beautiful person. You're amazing. You're smart. You're intelligent. You can be whatever you want to be. And I swear I love you. But currently, right now, I am not ready to be with you. And I know that you say you'll stick around. I don't want you to do that. I will not allow you to do that. I want you to live your life and I want you to get yourself together because I'm going to go and I'm going to get myself together because we cannot be in a relationship as two broken people. So if we are going to be together in the future, I need you to be whole. What this man is doing is not slick. 
what he's doing is he's keeping her around because he wants her in the pocket. And you know why? He told on himself. She asked him, can he can she sleep with other men? And that's the game. He don't want her to sleep with other men. So since he don't want to he don't want to release her like he know he should and let her get herself together because he fears her sleeping with another man. That's the game. That's the game. He knows that if he releases her and lets her get herself together, he get himself together. He knows that she will quite possibly because here's the thing. If she ain't going to find nobody better than him, he ain't got nothing to worry about. Don't take advantage of her. Don't make her stick around while you go sleep with other women. And wait on you patiently for you to maybe, maybe one day marry her. Don't play them game. You wouldn't want nobody. Look, that man would that man would not give that advice to his daughter. I guarantee it. He would not give that advice to his daughter or to his sister. And so don't do that to somebody else. If you don't want to be with her, let her go. He just don't want her to be with another man. Happens in the ethical non-monogamy community, and maybe this doesn't apply to you, but there's kind of like the don't ask, don't tell. So maybe you know that your partner's out there doing other things, mm -hmm. but you would rather not know the details. And in that case, you know, it's sort of a gray area because it's like, you know it's happening, but what is the reason that you don't want to know how many other partners they have? You know, even considerations about safe sex and protection and things like that. Those are our relevant things, right? So if you don't have those things laid out on the table, you can sense sort of on the superficial level, but there's not deeper informed consent with all the information in front of you. So that's kind of the only thing I bring up. The ethical non-monogamous Monogamy. community. <laughs> and that, that's, you're in that yeah, community. That's your <laughs> the ethical, I just found this out. Um, I was unaware of this. I but, hope it's ethical. But, but um, Are you but ethical? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I, yeah it, I'm at, it, do you mean like, okay, say for example. I'm talking take, about recycling. We take STI tests, <laughs> like, you know, if I've been with somebody else or whatever, I'll take an STI test to make sure, she, you know what I'm saying, I'm clean, she's good. Like, is that what you mean? So that's part of it. So the STI part is sort of the physical health part of it. There's also sort of the emotional repercussion part of it. And so that's a little bit of a gray area because you can make the argument, well, we've sort of talked a little bit about, you know, babe, how would you feel if I slept with another person or I had four other side chicks. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit of a gray area as far as how much you've talked about it and how much of that is enough or like what is considered informed. Um, but sort of the opposite extreme of that is the don't ask, don't tell, where it's like, I sort of know this happening, but I don't want to know anything about it. Oh. And in that case, what I would ask is, you know, are we really kind of considering your own emotional health in being able to you, say yes wait, to the situation. Are you suggesting that there's an assault occurring because there's not, you're, you're suggesting no, that there's no not. No, no assault. Is that what she said? Huh? Yeah. No. But, but he, he's already stated that he's, he's told her and he's on a podcast in front of thousands of people watching. I assume they've had a conversation that, I mean, he's pretty open about it here on the podcast. I assume they've had a conversation that he, and we it's have, open we on his We have an understanding. I, I mean, you guys are trying to, you guys are trying to get an understanding that you don't have, but we have that understanding because we've had these conversations. So it's not like I'm in an official relationship. These are women that I'm dating. So, I'm, so I date multiple women. I'm not in a committed relationship to anybody. So I, she knows that you're dating other people. Yes, Who gives exa a shit? exactly. So I'm dating other, so I, I, I'm, I'm dating other women. And what I'm saying is I take the most interest in her because I've been dating her the longest and we've developed the strongest relationship out of all the women that I've been dating. So does that clarify a lot more? She's your fave. She's my favorite. <laughs> yes. No, I, I hear you. And like I said, I don't think anything you're doing is considered like, uh, like crossing a boundary because clearly you've shared what you're doing with her. All I'm trying to express is that there are, there are sort of gradations in how you can, you can do it. And kind of the more you share and the more you, you guys can kind of work through the repercussions of what you're doing, the healthier relationship that can lead to, even if in the, in the future you decide to close the relationship and become monogamous. So from, from what I've seen, right? So there, there's different gradations of how you can do it. As, as long as you two are both consenting, I don't see anything wrong. Oh with yeah, I, I'm transparent about everything. I try to be transparent about everything so that 
nobody's left to wonder, nobody's left to make assumptions in negative to where, you know, they feel overwhelmed with anxiety or they feel depressed or, you know, I don't want to break anyone's heart. You know, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I'm open, transparent, honest about what I'm doing, what my intentions are. And at the end of the day, I just take it one day at a time, though. And then I don't I still don't think that he gets it right, because. I'm trying to think of an example. OK, I got one. Well. It's a it's much different from what um, he's doing because she would be in um, the wife's um, position, right? But the part that she's talking about is it's the same thing, right? You have a guy, he's married. And he's messing around with a woman that knows he's married. And in his mind, she knows I'm married. I've been up front. I've been honest. I've already told her I'm not going to leave my wife. But we know that when it comes to matters of the heart, things are not that simple. People agree to a lot of things and it's surprising, but you can be honest with a person. They'll um, agree to something. And. um They'll time will go by and they'll just change their mind. So I think he should be careful. And, and I think I don't think he's um, grasping what she's actually um, actually saying. He says that he's a relationship person. He's monogamous. So you would figure he you would think that he would kind of like think about it and consider it like, hmm, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? But he's like, oh, no, she knows. She knows. You know, like that don't mean anything like. You can still get messed up be, um, behind things like that because people agree to things for different reasons. It goes back like what I was saying before. If she's only making that decision because she's going through something right now or she's not thinking right now, people are forever changing. And you could have an agreement with somebody and they could seem like they're OK with it and really not be OK with it. So he should he should be um, careful when it comes to um, things like that, man. Um and, you know, well, God forbid, but, you know, you see things like this on um, true crime all the time. People think they have an agreement. One person decides that, hey, it's not going to be any more agreement. I can't handle it anymore. And somebody turns up, turned up. So. I hope you pursue fun. her. That's but like. Uh, I hope it works so, out. <laughs> so, but. Who here, it seems like a lot of the girls here object to the fact that he's, he's open with his partners about this, but you object to the fact that he's seeing multiple women. That's what it I, is. I don't, I wouldn't say I object. I just don't like, the, I don't like the, I don't like the dynamic. Cause well, I, on one end, sorry. I'm sorry. On one end, he's saying like, I'm free to do whatever I want with these women, you know, and that's how it's going to be. But if you were to do it, it's just a no go for me. But doesn't that come down to me understanding the differences between men and women? I do it because I can do it. As I said, if she does it, I've lost her. Is it, I know is that it I just because you can do something? Does that make it right? It's not about right it's or wrong. It's not about right or I wrong. I can stab it's you. It doesn't mean I should do it. it. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> like, it's, I don't think you would necessarily. It's lose not about her. right or wrong. I think it would be. It would be like her saying, "Oh, you got all these other people on one side. I'm just doing it because you're doing it." But do you know her though? No, I'm not exactly. saying I'm, exactly. I'm not saying so I know her. You don't know her. You don't know her. I know her. So I'm telling you, if she were to do it, based on how I know her, her behavioral tendencies, her attitude, the way that she thinks, how selective she is, how how um, secretive she is with her body, if she were to do it, that means she really liked the guy. That okay. means she liked that guy more than me. Go. I lost. Her. So that's what I'm saying. So I have a question for you. I don't think that got nothing to do with him knowing her and them not knowing her. Um, pretty much every man has said that same thing. Like every man says that same thing. Oh, it's a difference because if a woman do it, then she really like him and he enters in her because see, we do the penetration. So I've lost her. If that happens, every guy says that he's not saying anything different that we've never heard before. Once. <laughs> 
Q, what is your ratio of women? <laughs> what is my ratio like of women? Project. How many women approach me versus how many women I actually accept? Oh, my ratio is similar to Raspy's. Okay. I get approached by a lot of women, and I turn down a lot of sex, honestly. Yeah, yeah I, I feel do. you. I turn down a lot of sex. My DM, <laughs> is, my DM is full of thousands of women, and a lot of the times I just ignore it. Thousands? Yeah. Stop so, fogging so the women. I have a question <laughs> about, about your question. So another way to look at it, couldn't you also say that she has the freedom to leave if he isn't giving her what you want, what, what she wants, and she could look for a guy who is more willing to be monogamous to her. Yeah, she could. Yeah. She just she didn't could, choose to. But yeah, I was just, if she made her decision, she just didn't choose to leave. Do you guys live together? Do we live together? Yeah. Not anymore, we did. At one, okay, so we right did now, at, okay. We did at one point, and when we did, I didn't even see other women. Well, the okay. thing is for me, even though, just we, even though we weren't committed in a relationship, I still didn't see other women out of respect for the fact that we lived together. Go ahead, Kelly. I'm just saying that like, I, don't, I don't see the problem with you, um, you know, seeing other women just because of the fact that you are transparent with her, which is automatically it's in her hands. So if she chooses not to go see other people knowingly that you are dating other people, that's her choice to do. And it's like, like you said, like men and women are different. They're... Um, we have a, a man who's going to spend all of his time with the woman that he cares about the most. He's going to spend the most money because he works to make his money. So why would he go waste it on some girls that he doesn't see any potential in? So as long as like you know you're not saying this is my girlfriend and there's no like there's no title on it. There's nothing. I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. And that's exactly it's, what it is. Yeah. Well, she could be his girlfriend even but she, as long as she understands she's just his well, she, situation you know they're they're dating they're it's a part of dating but they haven't it's not like you ever said will you be my girlfriend right. because once that question comes out then that's a completely <clears throat> different story then you dating other women is cheating on her there you girlfriend and there's no like there's anyway that's the um end of it um I, th I think they're both silly and I think they're both wasting their time. He said something earlier, like, um, you know, um, if he if he goes and he's with another woman then he comes back to her and they take a um, STI test. I, who the hell want to go through that? I, these people. <laughs> but I, I guess they young. I guess I don't know. That sounds terrible to me. Who wants to go through that? <laughs> But that's why this is risky behavior. We just talk about people behavior, but it's not to say that they're bad people. I I just I just I honestly think they're both afraid to just let the um other person go. She's dealing with what he's doing because she's afraid to let him go and you know, he's kind of giving her hope, you know, um because He doesn't want to risk her sleeping with another man. But um, here's the thing, though. If he says that um, he says he's going to date other women to see if he wants to be with her. But then he says that he doesn't spend money on these women. So he doesn't take them on dates. He said that, too. So what is he doing? It would make more sense if he was taking these women on dates and seeing, you know, hey, um, is there possibly somebody else out there for me? And do I really want to be um, with the girl who he calls his main? Right. So he's just sleeping with these women and she's just waiting around for it. He's getting his rocks off. You know, and then when he's ready, he'll come back and settle down. Um, regardless of what he's doing, nothing that they're doing is how you build um, a healthy relationship. So he's just doing something and he's just trying to disguise it as, you know, well, I'm honest. and But you're not building a relationship and you're not really seeing if there's something else out there for you. You're just kind of wasting time until you're until you get over the fact of all the BS that she um, may have put you through in the beginning of the relationship. But I, I don't get the point of what you're doing. Um, just let her go, dog. Why are you holding on to her? Just let her go. You don't want to be with her. And you know you don't. 
So quit wasting your time. Go live your life and have your fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let it go. It didn't work out. Why are you holding on to it? It makes no sense. Just let it go. Because that's extra. That's just extra. To me, that's just extra work for no reason. Y'all both just wasting your time when you could be out there really dating, really getting to know people and really finding that person that is for you. Really finding that true connection because you can't possibly have uh, this crazy connection that you say you have with this um, other person um, doing what you're doing. Unless, but I could be wrong. It is. I don't know. She might be one of. Um, maybe this is like a build up to a polygamy relationship. I don't know. But I'm confused. I I don't. I hear what he's saying and I understand what he's doing. I just don't get the the point of it. He paints it one way like he's dating and he's seeing what's out there, and then he says he's not dating, so he's just sleeping with him. And then when he goes back to her, they got to go down there to the doctor and get tested. And I just think that's a bit immature. I think that's just like some fresh out of high school mess. I don't think that's adult stuff, I guess. Or maybe I'm just getting old. It just sounds crazy to me that people go through those things. That's It's just weird. But anyway, y'all, um, please comment down below. Um, maybe I got it all wrong. Let me know. I'm not easily offended. Comment however you want. Say whatever you want. You know, I'm going to read it, check it out. And I, um, I try to respond to everybody anyway. So like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, turn to your neighbor. Let them know. I love you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.